We're live tonight across North Texas as people assess the damage and in some cases begin the cleanup. But first we start with Larry and video of what appears to be a funnel cloud in Midlothian. And Larry, we were under a tornado warning earlier. What's your take on this now? Yeah, several counties went under a tornado warning. This is the first piece of video I've seen of an actual tornado and you can see the rotation here and it looks like it did make it all the way down to the ground if if just briefly. This was coming off of that big outflow of winds that was rushing out ahead of the storm. Sometimes that can generate a little bit of a spin and produce these very brief tornadoes. And there were several other places where we may have had brief tornadoes, one around TCU. I was tracking that on the radar and then also back into the Erath County area and Comanche County as well. This is the first one that I've seen on video and this is new video just into us here at CBS 11. Still some storms to the east now. Again, this was around Midlothian earlier this evening. The storms have all cleared us here in Dallas. There is one storm that still has a warning for it for parts of Henderson and Anderson County. This storm capable of 60 mile per hour winds. It's also moving at 60 miles per hour. So just like the storms here in Dallas and Fort Worth moved fast, this one is too. Jacksonville well around 1019 and Henderson there around 1042. So we've dried out now. This is a radar loop of the storms as they came through and these little dots that are popping on the map. Those were our high wind and hail reports and the highest winds were in this corridor from around Fort Worth back down towards the Stephenville area. I've got a dry day tomorrow. In fact, the hottest day of the year coming our way tomorrow as temperatures get Get close to 90, but then there are some storm chances and the threat for more severe weather Sunday night into Monday, and then it turns cooler too. We'll talk about these storm chances for Sunday and Monday, plus show you some more amazing pictures coming up in a few moments. Okay, Larry, thanks. On to our weather authority tonight, Larry Mowry. It's been a busy evening for you and uh, everything as we see on the radar well east of us. And we got a quiet night the rest of the way, right? We do. The watches have been canceled. All the warnings for our viewing area have been canceled. Storms continue here around the Tyler area, pushing rapidly off to the east. Still some rain and some stormy weather around Palestine. That's not severe, but you're hearing a little bit of thunder and getting some heavier rain. Let me zoom out, though, and I'll show you the wider picture because still out to the north and west of us is this little swirl. That's the upper level energy that was responsible for this big old mess of storms that ran through here today. The upper level energy is still swinging through the southern plains and the dry line still actually out to the west. So I can't rule out an isolated shower overnight tonight, but the severe weather threat is done. That's going to be passing off towards the east. Now, let me review what happened here because the setup, as I talked about yesterday, depended on whether or not we had cloud cover and rain during the midday hours. And for half of us, that stayed the case. The other half, it did not. So here's the warm front in the morning. It started to lift northward as we broke out into some sunshine down to the south. And by about 530, that's when those storms approached us here in Fort Worth and up to about six o'clock. We were in the mid 70s, even 80s south of that warm front. And the greatest concern when you have a setup like this is right along that warm front for the higher wind threat and isolated tornadoes. North of the front, the cooler air is in place and it's less of a wind threat because the air is more stable and it doesn't allow those high winds and the storms to make it all the way down to the ground. So although we were just seeing big time storms here in Denton, Collin County up to the Red River, they weren't quite severe because that high wind was not high enough to make it all the way down to the ground because of that cooler air. But then as we moved uh, farther into the evening, the storms continue to track rapidly off to the east and now we're sitting with temperatures in the lower 60s. Tomorrow's forecast will start pretty much in the same spot we are now mid to low 60s and then look at that warm up upper 80s in the afternoon breezy hottest day of the year so far the humidity level will go down especially in the afternoon Sunday though chance of more severe storms along the dry line out to the west these will try to move our way we'll have to watch and see how far east they make up make it. There'll probably be a cap over top of Dallas and Fort Worth, but there's the possibility of some storms late in the day on Sunday. On Monday, the severe weather threat continues. Scattered storms here along a warm front, a cold front, and then a dry line. All types of fronts out there on Monday, so we'll have to watch for the possibility of some severe storms on Monday. About a 60% coverage. A lot will depend on where that cold front sets up on Monday. Tuesday, we're in a chilly rain setup. No severe weather on Tuesday, but temperatures on Tuesday will stay in the 50 and 60s all day on Tuesday. So here's the forecast tomorrow 89 chance of storms Sunday evening, Sunday night and Monday. Some of those could be severe. No severe weather on Tuesday, but chilly 60s and 50s and we'll stay cool on Wednesday with a morning low Wednesday morning in the 40s. Then we're 78 Thursday and 80 for a high on Friday. Here's the rainfall estimates from today. This area, these areas I have highlighted in yellow anywhere from two to four inches of rain and that had a huge impact on the lakes. 
get this, Lake Grapevine up nearly 20 inches in the past 24 hours. That's how much this rain helped today. Now 77% full. Lake Louisville, 15 inches up in the past 24 hours. Lake Ray Roberts, 10 inches. Lake Levon up nine. Eagle Mountain Lake up seven inches. I've got all the list of all North Texas lakes right there on my Facebook page, CBS 11. Larry, got two pictures to show you real quick. Jason near DeSoto, one of our storm chasers. Gorgeous sunset this evening on the backside of these storms. And this is from Gary Apshire right over Lake Worth. Just a pretty picture. It was a nice end of the evening after a stormy start. Keith Russell is out with sports. Hi, Keith.